And this is the global forecast for June 2017. It's very much based around the first few days of the month and then the last few days of the month and the bits in the middle. Um, with the bits in the middle, I'm not worried by any of the aspects between the outer planets. Saturn's going retrograde, Pluto's going retrograde, Neptune's standing still, Jupiter's standing still. Not a lot is changing here. Uh, Uranus is moving forward and he's bringing a bit of havoc into the lives of those people born towards the end of Cancer, Capricorn, Aries and Libra, but everyone gets it at some stage in their life. So this is a 21 year cycle. Uh, but change is a necessary thing because without change, we get rigid and then entropy and decay set in. So change is an option and change is definitely in the weather forecast for this month. Jupiter moving forward, starting to move forward from the 9th of June onwards, just as Neptune goes retrograde a week later. With Jupiter moving forward at 13 degrees of Libra, uh, squaring the American Sun and conjuncting the American Saturn, it does suggest that over the coming couple of months, there's going to be further developments in American political and constitutional situations. But, and my American colleagues and friends will be pleased to hear this, there's also pretty clear indication that by the time we're into, say, the end of July, the worst of this is going to be over. And from then on, it's just more about individual, individuals and personalities rather than the state of the country itself. But it does seem that America's up for one or two further developments over this coming couple of months that are going to change things a little bit. Um, it is the day by day stuff. We start the month with a beautiful formation. I know Mars is still opposite Saturn, but Mars is also trining the node, sorry, sextiling the North Node with Mars, Saturn trining it. Mars is also sextiling the conjunction of Venus and Uranus, which in itself is trining Saturn. So there's this lovely kite formation in the sky, a grand trine of Saturn. North node, Saturn at the end of Sag, North node at the end of Leo, Venus and Uranus at the end of Aries, with Saturn at the end of Gem, uh, Mars at the end of Gemini opposite Saturn, is creating a lovely kite formation, suggesting that the first few days of this month, whilst it's a bit hectic and manic, it's also very positive. There's a lot of growth, there's a lot of change in a positive way, and there's lots of windows of opportunity opening. The middle of the month is relatively quiet. Mars is in Cancer all month from the 4th onwards. Venus and Mercury both change sign on the 6th. So the period around the 4th to the 6th of this month is likely to see quite a change in the individual and global dynamic, but not necessarily for the negative. From the 6th onwards, from the 4th onwards with Mars in Cancer, there, there is going to be an upturn in the tempo, but it's not really going to hit fruition until the end of the month. The Sagittarius new moon on the 9th of June isn't really affecting the global situation that strongly as far as I can see. Although I, if there's going to be any global movements, I do expect them in the first week of the month. And by this, I mean geophysical, solar storms, earthquakes, volcanoes this coming weekend, for example. But after that, things should quiet down because the sun moves on from its square to Neptune and it's trying to Jupiter. As we get towards the end of the month, Mercury leaves Gemini, moves into Cancer and starts joining up with Mars. And then we start getting problems. At the end of July, Mercury conjunct Mars opposite Pluto. Sorry, at the end of June, Mercury conjunct Mars opposite Pluto. This is easily the most challenging aspect of the month. The combination of Mercury and Mars is not given to patience or tolerance. It wants action and it wants action now. Neither planet is comfortable in Cancer. I don't want to deal with feelings and emotions. They want action. And when they're opposite Pluto in Capricorn, the sign of government, I do expect there to be globally a number of riots, protests, disagreements with governments, whether it be in South America, the Middle East, the Far East, Europe, America, doesn't matter. But I do expect towards the end of this month, the proverbial to hit the fan and there to be a number of inflammatory incidents. I think that's the best way to describe it, inflammatory incidents. This will be brief. 
it will last for about four or five days, no more, from about June the 27th through to July the 1st, 2nd. After which things will then start calming down. But heads up, the end of this month is going to be a bit of a stinker and uh, we're all advised to count to 10 and not buy into the hype and spin as it inevitably develops. It's going to be a lot of pressure at the end of this month. Don't let it get to you. Sensible people will just look at it and go, you know what? I'm not going to buy into this. I'll deal with it in a few days time. If the planet were my client and all its inhabitants just one being, I would be saying to them, as far as June goes, it's a fairly chilled out month. Good at the start, stable with lots of good communication in the middle. At the end of the month, for the last few days, it's like a giant zip suddenly comes to the surface, explodes and then fades away again by the start of July. But it's going to be painful in the short term. OK, have a good month, folks. See you later. Bye.